Hello and welcome to Fame Ibong TV and today I'll be teaching you all how to make a transparent soap or you can call it a transparent soap base. So you've seen the transparent soap out there, the one they sell at the stores where they sell soap. So in this video I'll be teaching you how to make it yourself. You will learn how to make transparent soap in this video and I'll be using chemicals that are actually very easy to find so this video should teach you how to make it yourself so if you've been wishing to learn how to make the transparent soap i think and i'm sure that this video is the solution you've been looking for for a very long time so watch follow the steps i will use now this is my coconut oil when making transparent soap it's always good to use oils that don't have color coconut oil looks very transparent you can see my coconut oil there it looks very transparent so use coconut oil when making transparent soap if you want to achieve a good transparency make use of coconut oil then also i'm adding solvent which is the glycerin and the castor oil glycerin and castor oils will act as solvent in this my transparent soap production because we actually need solvent to make this soap transparent. The solvent will help us to achieve a transparent soap. Then also using a clear oil like the coconut oil or any other oil that is very clear and doesn't have color will give you a transparent soap. So if you want to learn more on how to make this, if you want to, if you want to learn how to make this transparent soap, you can do well by checking the description of this video. If you want to join a class on how to make transparent soap, I'll be organizing a class for those that want to learn more on how to make transparent soap. I'll be organizing a class on WhatsApp. So if you want to learn more on how to make this transparent soap, you can do well by clicking on the description of this video to join us on whatsapp where you can learn how to make a transparent soap the class is actually a different class from my other classes so the the charges will be different for this particular one so if you want to learn how to make a transparent soap if you want to learn it in a class you click on the description of this video to see the link where you can join the class on how to make a transparent soap then also aside of the transparent soap i also run classes on other types of skincare production like the bar soap which is the laundry bar soap the bathing soap the organic soap the body cream the vaseline the hair cream perfumes so all those the shampoo the hair conditioner all those stuffs we hold them in a separate class also on whatsapp so if you need this training click on the description of this video to join the class so now this is my steric acid that's my steric acid i'm melting it using a double boiling method now double boiling method is just a method where you put a container on a heat source then you pour water into the container then you place another vessel inside that container for it to cook through boiling so instead of it getting cooked through the heat from the stove it will now get cooked through the heat from your water now when you use this method which is called double boiling you will encounter you won't encounter a situation where your um the your product that you are cooking get burned product don't, don't fast easily get burned when you are using a double boiling method so if you want your product not to get burned and to cook safely double boiling method is the best method to use so you can see i'm melting my steric acid you can notice my steric acid is melting now the purpose of steric acid in this video is to make sure that my soap comes out hard because i'll be using a lot of liquid you see i'm using my glycerin i'll be using my ethanol and i'll be using a sugar syrup so due to the fact that i'm using a lot of liquid in this video is to make the soap soft because like i've been saying in my previous videos too much water or too much liquid in your soap production results to a soft soap 
your soap won't be hard but it will be soft so in order not to encounter a soft soap or to produce a soft soap in order not to produce a soft soap is always advisable to add a hardening agent we have several hardening agents out there and steric acid is one of them now why i'm using steric acid because steric acid will not affect the transparency of my soap because when i melt my steric acid it also looks transparent so I'll avoid adding anything that has color in this my soap production so that will not affect the transparency of my soap remember we are producing what a transparent soap so we don't want to add anything that has color so that won't affect the transparency of our soap when it gets hard Okay, so I'm right now, I'm about to add my steric acid into the soap I'm making. Now, this is the best time to add your steric acid after your soap has gotten to a medium trace. So, right now, I've stirred my soap with my stick blender. When it got to a medium trace, I now added my steric acid. And when you add steric acid, you'll notice the soap mixture getting very thick. So, so that when you notice your, yours getting thick, you will not be... Um, panic you know you won't get worried just know it's normal the moment you add steric acid to this production the mixture starts becoming very thick but don't worry once we pour in our ethanol into this mixture it's going to dissolve again ethanol helps your soap to dissolve so ethanol is going to dissolve this soap again this thick mixture will be dissolved by our ethanol All right, so I'm going to add my ethanol, and this is my ethanol. I poured it into the mixture. Then I'm going to stir it again using my stick blender to scatter it. Now, ethanol will help this thick mixture to dissolve again. It's going to become a bit watery, but it will become more watery after when I start cooking it. It will become very watery when I start cooking it. So I'll use my stick blender to scatter it again, so that I'll make sure that my ethanol has properly mixed with my soap. Now I'm going to start cooking it. I will start cooking this mixture. First of all, I will cover this my jug, my stainless jug, with a waterproof. The purpose of doing this is to make sure that my ethanol doesn't evaporate because ethanol is very volatile. It easily evaporates and it evaporates more quickly when it comes and when it meets, it meets heat when it, it senses heat because we are going to be cooking this soap so when ethanol realize that you are bringing it close closer to heat it evaporates more and we don't want our ethanol to evaporate because if the ethanol evaporates we will not achieve a transparent soap the ethanol the glycerin the castor oil 
and the coconut oil they are all very important for us to achieve a very good transparent soap so you should make sure that all of them have been properly incorporated into your soap nothing should be missing now i've cooked the soap for some while now i've opened it now to show you the result and this is what is happening you can see the ethanol has made it to dissolve so i'll use my stick blender again and scatter it more so that to dissolve properly and i'm going to cook it again for another 15 minutes the, i cooked it for 15 minutes before i'm going to cook it again for another 15 minutes minute this is the result this is how this is what i'm seeing this is how my soap looks like it's very transparent but also i'm going to add my sugar syrup so that it will make it more transparent the sugar syrup the ethanol the glycerin the coconut oil and the castor oil all helps in achieving a transparent soap the sugar syrup will help the soap to look more transparent so everything I'm adding into this soap um, production is to achieve what a transparent soap. My sugar syrup was made with the combination of sugar and water. I measured my white sugar. The sugar that I use in taking tea, the granulated sugar, is not any special sugar. It's actually the granulated sugar, or you can get sugar in cubes. So I measured it. I showed the measurement there. Then I also measured my water. Then I double boiled them. I poured the water into the sugar and double boil it. That is, I melted my sugar in the water. I cooked it so that it will melt quickly. Because hot water has a way of melting sugar. So I cooked it and I poured it into my soap mixture and my sugar melted. If I now poured it there. So now I'm going to be adding my fragrance. The purpose of this fragrance is to make sure that my soap has a good scent. And the fragrance I'm adding also doesn't have color. The fragrance I'm adding has water color. It looks like water also. It has water color. The name of this fragrance I'm adding is called Orange Fragrance. It's actually Orange Fragrance. It doesn't have color. So any fragrance that you are adding to this your soap production, make sure that your fragrance does not have color. Because if you go to the market to buy fragrance, in the chemical shop to get fragrance, you will see some fragrances that have color. And there are some that don't have color. Some, some of them that look clear like water. But still have a good smell so get go for fragrances that have a good smell but also does not have color but looks clear like water use those kind of fragrance for this kind of a project because you don't want to be adding anything that have color color will affect the transparency of your soap don't forget to follow me on social media i am on tiktok i'm on instagram and i also have a facebook page called famous skincare so now after for after 24 hours our soap is now hard it's hard enough to be taken off the mold so you're going to see how transparent this our soap is it's actually a tablet soap it's a bar soap but it's in a transparent form you can use this soap in baiting it's very good for baiting because it has glycerin inside and glycerin is very good for the skin it's a very nice soap it's also good for those that have sen sensitive skin those people that their skin easily reacts to products this glycerin transparent soap is also good for such skin so you can see the soap is transparent you can see my hand from the other side this soap is transparent so i'm going to cut it into smaller chunks for you to see how transparent this soap is <laughs> 